Today, we're going to go ahead and clean some greens. I know it's like a big controversy, but this is my kitchen. This is how I've been doing it for since my grandmama was around. Got my sink, got my greens. My sink, my greens, my mother bleach. Say splashless regular, it don't really matter. But the most important thing is when it say, right there, contains no phosphorus. That's what really matters. No phosphorus. Unscented, unscented bleach, no phosphorus. That's what really matters, right there. So, the way it goes is you use a teaspoon to every gallon of water. One teaspoon of bleach to every gallon of water. So, right now, this about five gallons. This is a 10 gallon sink. So, we gonna go ahead and get the teaspoon. Teaspoon. Oh God, the teaspoon in the water. The water's so filthy now. Oh my God. We got some critics out here. I know it's just gonna have a problem with that. He put the spoon in the sink. Shut the fuck up. So, we go take one teaspoon of bleach. That's one. I'm pouring the second one. That's two. That's three. I'm only gonna use three. Well, maybe we'll use four. There's four. We got four. Four teaspoons of bleach. Go mix that water up. Mix that water up. Mix that water up. Mix that water up. My hands are very, very clean. Don't worry, my hands are very, very clean. We go take our greens and put them in here. Actually, I'm gonna leave a link so that you look on that Food and Drug Administration, where I actually show that it's safe to use bleach as long as you dilute it the right way. You dilute it the right way. That's the important part. You take your greens, you put them in there. Because I don't know what some of y'all think, but the chemicals they, they put on here ain't the best for you. Oh, by the way, this is ice cold water, ice cold water. Right, let me put the top on this bleach. I don't want it to spill. Yep, don't need it on my shoes. I, I don't want it changing the colors on my shoes. But you're supposed to do this for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. They say 10 minutes. So that's full safety. Because this stuff don't be right all the time. And then after you get done, you take it out and you rinse it for five minutes. You gotta rinse it for five minutes. And for everybody that got a problem, I have worked at restaurants before. So, it's cool. I don't know what's going on with you people. And just to see how unharmless it is, we could even use some of this. People hate that. But look what's in it, ingredients. Water, sulfuricants, viscosity modifiers, preservatives, fragrance, and dye. Do you know what? That's going to be the reason why I'm not going to use it because I don't want the fragrance and dyes in there. I don't want the fragrance. If I had some plain soap, then yeah, I'll use that. But I don't use salt because I got high blood pressure. Why would I use salt? And I got high blood pressure. But it's all good. It's all good, baby. I've been doing this for years. I'm 40. I'm in my 40s now. And guess what? I'm still alive and kicking. And my kids ain't out here shooting places up. So it, it ain't affect nothing else either. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff y'all worried about. Why don't y'all get y'all kids in the house? You know? I, I don't understand how you go condemn somebody else or talk down about somebody else. But your kids out here smoking the dope. Popping the Zans, drinking the lean. You know, get yourself an order before you try to give me an order. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the snow.